everybody, welcome to Five Days of Faith. Um, hopefully you enjoyed yesterday where we talked about the meaning of faith. Hopefully you enjoyed that illustration. Um, today we will be talking about the misappropriation of faith. And so uh, you're going to enjoy this. So listen, uh, what I want for you to do, I want to make sure that you share this information. Um, this will be a blessing to your life, especially as you get all um, of the levels of faith that we'll be talking about. So like I said yesterday, we talked about the meaning of faith. And basically what we said that faith is the substance um, of things hoped for. So faith is the substance and it's also evident. So faith is a substance and it's also evident. And so that's what um, faith is. And so faith is not the result of the thing, but it is the substance of the thing that you're going for. But today we're going to be talking about misappropriation of faith. And that's important because too often um, people come to a place where they are believing they're doing something by faith, not even understanding that their faith has been misappropriated. The word uh, misappropriation or misappropriated is, is um, it, it talks about, or the idea of it is embezzlement, theft, um, something being taken or being put um, in the place where it should not be put. And so that's why we say misappropriation of faith. And so what happens is that faith has been given to each and every one of us, the Bible says, is that each of us have been given the measure of faith. However, when you have been given the measure of faith and you uh, have taken that faith and you have placed it in the wrong place, then you will not get the result out of it that you want. Um, if I, We say this all the time that um, when a person does not understand the purpose of a thing, abuse is inevitable. And oh, how we have abused that, that term, I'm doing something by faith. And so if, you, if you're not doing it by faith, if you're not gaining or collecting your substance or believe before you even see it, that it is, it is so, that it is evident. And so when things happen and we say we're doing something by faith and it doesn't happen the way that we want to you know, see it happen, then what we end up doing is aborting our faith. But what we're talking about is misappropriation of faith. And so what happens is the enemy says this, um, or the Bible says this that the enemy does, that the devil comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. This is John 10 and 10. That the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But God has come, Jesus has come, that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Um, Amplified talks about to the full. Um, it even talks about life worth living. So this is, so we see that the enemy is trying to get us to a place to where we take our faith and misappropriate it. Listen to this. The Bible says this, is that, that we are supposed to walk by faith. The Bible says this on many accounts, that the just lives by faith. And so if you have been given faith that God has given you, if the enemy can go and trick your mind or trick you into taking what has been given to you and misappropriate it, then you can lose confidence in it. And if you lose confidence in the thing that you're supposed to be walking by, how are you going to live a life that God has promised? Life more abundantly. And this is what I've seen so often where we all come and we've lost this idea that we can live an abundant life when now faith is the substance of things right now, y'all. We can live an abundant life right now. And so what do we have to do? We have to go do an audit on our faith and make sure that any faith that we have is not misappropriated, that our mouth is speaking in faith, that our actions, that we are walking, as the Bible says, by faith, that we are thinking in faith. The Bible says that, look, that the just, listen, that the just lives by faith. And this is what we're all supposed to do. So again, let's go over this one more time and make sure that you get this. You have been given the measure of faith. I have been given the measure of faith. John 10 and 10 says that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. And then watch this. And it continues on and says, but Jesus has come that you may have life and have it more abundantly to the full. And so 
what the enemy is trying to do is make you take the faith that you have been given and misappropriate it. Put it in the wrong account. Put it um, or make you look at it in the wrong way. Make you think of it. Give you a wrong definition. Um, to define a thing um, gives you the power to fulfill a thing. And so you need to understand. That's what we talked about, the meaning of faith. And now today we talk the misappropriation of faith. If you have misappropriated your faith, you need to go, like I said, do an audit on your faith. Get your faith right back to where you understand what it means, how to apply it, and then do exactly what God says. Walk by that faith. And when you walk by that faith, let me tell you something. You will look, you will have what you say. It will, what, what you are saying and it is in faith, then you'll see yourself having it because when you're asking, you'll begin to start asking in faith and not just asking from some type of a fairy tale that you may think that is faith. Now, as I get ready to close this thing out, a lot of people, as I talked about yesterday, distort the meaning of faith as though it's a denomination or something like that. Again, this is all the trick of the enemy. No, without substance, you have no faith. Without evidence, you have no faith. Your substance is your evidence. Your substance are the, the, the small things that come together the, to make the whole of your faith. Do not misappropriate it. You need to go and make sure that you get everything in order. Do an audit over your faith and so that you too can walk by faith and not by sight. This is Pastor Darren Bear, and I hope this has been a blessing unto you. And so tomorrow, we'll be dealing with my faith. Remember, we've already dealt with meaning of faith. Today's misappropriation of faith. Tomorrow is my faith. Go get your faith back. Live by it. See what God can do.